Hey Smarty Pants, student loan scams are on the rise, so in this video I'm going to tell you what those student loan scammers are selling, the telltale signs to watch out for so you don't become a victim of a student loan scam, and what to do in case you are the victim of a student loan scam. I decided to make this video because a woman in a Facebook group that I'm a part of posted this. I just got a phone call from someone calling me about student loan forgiveness, and the phone number they left me to call was for the National Student Loan Forgiveness Hotline. Is this real? I mean, I work for a healthcare recruitment company, but I didn't think that counted for public service loan forgiveness. Help? I replied to her that I had never heard of a student loan forgiveness hotline. You can call the Department of Education, you can call your student loan servicer, but a hotline? Frankly, when I think of hotlines, I think of late night 1-900 ads and like, mm, I don't think that's what you're looking for. So I asked her to Google the phone number because my spidey senses were a tinkling. She said that when she Googled the phone number, none of the results were in English. And then when she called the number that they gave her, she just got this automated message that was like, thank you for calling the National Student Loan Forgiveness Hotline. So she hung up because way too many red flags. And that got me wondering how many other people are getting calls like this? Well, it turns out she isn't alone. According to a February 21st NPR article, student loan scams are on the rise as payments are set to be starting back up in a few months. There are two general types of scams that they'll run. Now, now they'll contact you through text, through phone, through social media, and they can be very convincing. Usually they'll call the student, but in the NPR article, they actually contacted the student's parents. So make sure your parents are aware that these types of scams exist and not to fall for them. Some scams are gonna claim that they will file the paperwork for you so that you can consolidate your loans, you could get into a different payment program, or just lower your payments. But barring very unusual circumstances, you shouldn't need to pay anyone to do this kind of stuff for you. If you're having trouble with your payments, call your student loan servicer. They will help you. You have many, many options. I put a link in the description for the Federal Student Loan Simulator. It will tell you what options you have for your loans. And yeah, there are actually legitimate or organizations that do this work for people, but having somebody else get your student loan onto a different payment plan is like paying someone else to pay your phone bill. Just why? Do it yourself. Save yourself a lot of money. The second very common scam is the one I started with, where they'll contact you and promise total and immediate loan forgiveness or deletion or cancellation or whatever verb they want to use that means to get rid of. And they will promise to get rid of your student loans. But like, the federal government isn't all so on top of their game that they are sifting through the records of 46 million Americans who have student loans and looking to see who is eligible for what forgiveness program. Like, they're just not. They're not gonna call you and tell you to sign up for these programs. You gotta do it yourself. I've put a link in the description with a list of all the federal student debt relief programs so that you can see which ones you're eligible for. And then you can apply for them yourself. My name is Kate Moody, creator of the Savings Free Budget, here to help you outsmart your money. I help progressive women secure their financial future, worry less, and enjoy their life with no judgment or shame. If that sounds good to you, be sure to subscribe. If you are contacted by someone, there are a few warning signs that you can keep an eye or ear out for. The first sign of a student loan scam is if they ask for personal information. Now, the Costco size red flag is of course, if they ask for like your social security number or your credit card or bank account number or your federal student aid login password and username but other personal information like just your name your phone number your email address that kind of stuff your student loan servicer and the federal government already have that information nobody should be asking you for any kind of personal information so that is a red flag the second sign of a federal student loan scam is if there are grammatical or spelling errors or if the text looks like it started in a different language and then was put through Google Translate, it just kind of doesn't make sense. It's not how a native speaker would say something. Red flag. Because it probably was just put through a Google Translate. The third sign that something is a student loan scam is if they put any kind of time pressure on you. And this is something Matt Meese talked about in our cybersecurity interview. I'll put a link to that video. This is very common with um, 
in cybersecurity. If you get a phone call from somebody and they're like, you have to act fast, you have to act now, you have to act immediately. This is a limited time opportunity. No, scammers do this because they don't wanna give you time to think through your decisions because you'll probably realize that they're a scammer and they wanna force you to make a decision right now. This caveat, yes, the Public Service Loan Forgiveness, PSLF, waiver does expire October 31st, 2022. Now that is quite a few months from now. You should apply as soon as possible because it does take months for all of the paperwork to get through and you just don't want to miss out on this great opportunity. Watch my other videos on what that is. So do get your paperwork done unless it's October 30th, 2022. Like it isn't urgent. The fourth sign it's a student loan scam is if they ask for money up front or if there is a kind of monthly fee. The fifth warning sign that it is a student loan scam is if they claim their company or organization is an affiliate of the government or the Department of Education, and they're not listed as an official federal loan servicer on studentaid.gov, nor do they have a .gov website. The only legitimate affiliates will be on studentaid.gov. If you think you've been scammed, or if you kind of, eh, your spidey senses are tingling and you're not sure, first off, Google the name of the company, Google the phone number that they called from, Google the number that they gave you to call them back with, see what pops up. Does a real business website come up? Or like that other woman from the Facebook group says, it was just a bunch of websites in other languages. Other than that, you can search the CFPB complaints database to see if anybody's put in a complaint about this company. If you think you've been scammed, First thing you do is you log in to studentaid.gov and you change your password. Do not share your new password with anyone. The second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna contact your bank or your credit card and you're gonna request that they stop payment to the student loan debt relief company. The third thing you're gonna do is you're gonna contact your student loan servicer and you're gonna tell them what happened. If the loan servicer has any kind of power of attorney or a third party authorization agreement on file, ask that it be revoked. While you're on the phone, ask if there's been any unwanted actions taken on your account recently. And lastly, file a complaint with all or at least one of the following, the FTC at identitytheft.gov, your state attorney general, and the CFPB. I'll put links in the description. So that way they don't scam other people. You can get the eyes of the federal government on these groups to help shut them down. If you want some help saving more, stressing less, and taking control out of your money, be sure to check out my 24 easy money moves checklist in the description. Well, smarty pants, that's the longs and shorts of student loan scams. I hope you never have to use this information, but it is here if you do need to use it. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.